I had to buy a new TV recently, and while disconnecting and reconnecting all the wires and cables, I found myself with a few extras around. Some came boxed with the new TV, and some of the older ones are no longer needed. So as I was throwing the old wires and cables into my junk pile of 30 years, I realized I may be the reason Radio Shack went out of business. I have all of their inventory. As I was digging around behind the TV, I found this huge power source here, power adapter, tying up two spaces on my already crowded receptacle strip. After tracing it through a curled, twisted jungle, I learned it was attached to absolutely nothing. It was just plugged in with no purpose to serve. I think it had been there since Joe Biden was a rookie senator. I think this is what they used to charge the International Space Station. It looked important to me, so I never moved it. I just remembered all the times I needed an extra outlet or two. Of course, I'm going to keep it. It's got to be connected to something valuable, like, I don't know, an 8-track player. As I've sorted it all out, I have some stuff like this. I have no idea where it came from or why I kept them. I'm just afraid that I won't have them if I need them. My collection ranges from the wildly popular RCA AV cables to the 21st century HDMI cables. And I have a bunch of these red, green, and blue component cables too, although I've never used them. I have learned that the cheap $5 cables deliver the same great picture the big name $50 ones do. I have all sorts of male-to-female extensions, uh, male-to-male adapters, female-to-female -female couplers, all kind of scandalous combinations. I have charging cables for cell phones, like the ones kids used on Saved by the Bell. I have those wide-mouth computer cables that Bill Gates phased out like, I don't know, 10 windows ago. I have headphone jack adapters from back when a pod was where a pea resided. If any of these products ever make a comeback, I'm ready. In fact, if I connected all these cords, cables, and wire and aimed them toward the White House, they would generate enough static electricity to make President Trump's hair stand on end. As I've had to replace my dilapidated old machines with smooth humming new models, what am I gonna do with all these cables? Do you think Radio Shack would take them back? There has to be one somewhere.